Okay, in 1989, I went on a safari with my parents to Kenya, Africa. And we met up with a pastor, and he said that he would take us into the, one of the slums of Kenya. Because we wouldn't see it on the safari, because they take you to the nice hotels, the nice restaurants. So we hooked up with him, and he took us into one of the slums of Kenya called Kibera. And when he had taken us there, we saw the children, how they were playing, and the life circumstances there, how the kids were um, just happy with the small things they had, playing with a piece of paper, or, uh, plastic bags that made a ball for a soccer ball and used um, pop bottles, the plastic ones, and put wheels on it for like a car. And when I saw the circumstances there and how happy these kids were, um, God just impressed upon my heart that this is where I should be and to do ministry there for him with the people there in Kenya. I came back in 2003 after making a trip again to Kenya. And then I worked in 2004, worked all of 2004, worked for about a year and saved about 10,000 US dollars. And with that money, I left then in January of 2005 and went to Kenya. And I met up with a pastor and he asked, had a building, a metal sheet building. And he asked me if I would start a school or if I could start a school there. And I took him up on that proposal and went off with my 10,000 dollars and started the school. Since starting with 10 students and one teacher in 2005, the Lord has blessed Kenya Kids each year with growth. Kenya Kids Learning Center now employs over a dozen certified teachers and educates and feeds over 230 children living in the slums of Nairobi.